Force. For today, John Larson, NBC News, Los Angeles. It's 18 minutes after the hour. Once again, here's Campbell. Matt, thanks. In the old days, if you were a man and you were unemployed, it was a shameful thing and you'd hit the pavement every day looking for a job. But today, whole different story as more American men decide not working isn't so bad after all. Here's NBC's Ron Mott. Uh, babe. We never knew exactly what he did for a living, <laughs> but it was clear. Dad, can I have 20 cents for flowers from Miss Landers? Ward Cleaver had a job. Hey, yeah, Cleaver. Let me know what it is. And, uh... Unlike Cosmo Kramer three decades later, hey! unemployed and apparently shameless. Good friend, George Costanza. It's not like I'm just sitting here dreaming and sending letters off to Santa. In North Carolina, 39 year old Joe Corey is not ashamed. He hasn't worked full time in five years. I don't feel any sort of shame or, uh, you know, any sort of. You know, like like somehow I'm the curse of the neighborhood. Did you talk to your mom last night? No. His wife, no. Becky, makes the money as a computer programmer. I may be working late. Freeing him up to be a house husband yeah. taking odd jobs while trying to turn his party favors column into cash. I've got a couple pals who, who give me, uh, you know, give me grief about it, but uh, I think they're jealous. The percentage of unemployed men roughly his age has jumped considerably from 5% in the late 60s to 13% last year. They're trying to figure out who they are, and they're not their jobs anymore, and so they have to figure out what they are instead of their jobs. Gourmet coffee shops like this one have become popular hangouts for the so-called fashionably unemployed who come in for the rather pricey job of some conversation and even the free wireless internet access, just about anything but searching the help wanted ads. Thank you. Something that's low on Joe Corey's to-do list, an approach labor experts worry could lead to trouble as men like him get older. The most important thing is to get back into that labor force, to demonstrate their commitment to working, to demonstrate to themselves that, that they can do it again. <laughs> Then again, Kramer, he always seemed to have little schemes going too. So, you know, you, and that's what I try to do. Not working seems to work for some. For today, Ron Mott, NBC News, Atlanta. I say if she's okay with it, he, you know, I'm okay with it. But if you're fashionably unemployed, you should be getting your coffee at Dunkin' Donuts, not at <laughs> one of these expensive coffee houses. Wouldn't you agree? If you can afford to hang out in the sort of friend's coffee shop. You can serve where you can. All right. Still to come, terror at the beach. The young man who was buried alive when he was just playing in the sand.